Hello everyone this is Ashish and welcome back to Talk 4712 today we are going to talk about a very highly demanded topic no literally the highest demanded topic a week ago i posted a community post asking you guys to let me know about the biggest problem that you're facing along with your preparation of competitive examination and the top comments actually multiple top comments came out to be preparation along with semester examination preparation along with your campus placement so i decided to make a video on this one I'm going to talk about how to balance your preparation along with semester examination, the classes that are going on and the campus placement. The biggest problems are going to be faced by seventh semester people, but yes, third semester people are also sorry, third year people are also going to face a lot of issues. This video is only going to help people who are preparing for competitive examination along with college, that is undergraduates or along with MTech or even people who are doing phd basically if you have to deal with semester examinations then this video is going to help you i have been in those situation in 2015 while preparing for gate examination along with my seventh semester and again in bias training school going through those bias semester examination along with preparation of isro examination so i have sufficient information to share with you guys to help your preparation in a better manner if you're not an undergraduate or you're not preparing along with a semester examination this video is not going to help you much so you can leave but before you go there's free test series available the link will be down in the description box three test series and chances of winning prizes so you can use that opportunity for the rest of you you're going to be over here for the next 10 minutes get the information that i have for you to share all right the first problem dealing with the classes that are going on although these days the classes are much easy to bypass we all know that we have bypassed those classes by muting the audio or just by sitting over there not actually attending those classes so i've talked about those things so i'm going to actually bypass this question what's that oh you're new over here you subscribed this channel yesterday only all right new people we have to explain that for 30 seconds only so listen to my quick tips number one if it is an online class turn the volume down these are the privileges that we did not have when we were attending offline classes all right during the classes you try as much as possible to solve questions because while someone else is talking over there it is difficult to concentrate on learning something new so focus on solving more and more questions every day wake up early in the morning study for two hours something new and then give yourself target to solve as much questions related to that topic that you studied that morning throughout the day while you are attending classes while you're attending like formally attending classes okay so this is high time especially seven semester people your semester examinations are not going to help you much now coming to semester examination of the fifth semester and the seventh semester people see you have to maintain a cgpa let us say to be safe 7.5 or a percentage of 75 percentage the lowest percentage that will be eligible for psus would be that having 60 percent so you, if you have 60 percent you'll be eligible for barc and ongc and some other psus are also there but these are mainly over available which are available every year now next 65 percentage above you'll be eligible for almost 100 percent of the psus 68 percentage above you'll be eligible for isro and that is the highest demarcation so you have to maintain a minimum of 68 percentage but if you are at 75 percent then you'll be safer because your eighth semester is also going to come so no one nobody knows what is actually going to happen so just to be safe maintain it 75 percentage now with that said no need to go beyond that it is not actually going to help you if you're asking my cgpa it was nine point five seven but it did not really help me much in getting any job i went out of my college unplaced basically i sat for five different placements rejected by all of them but anyways got different jobs in future now we, we have come to an agreement that you have to maintain a certain cgpa and beyond that it is not necessary so let us say if you are playing somewhere around in eight cgpa or nine cgpa good you have enough time or energy to focus towards your gate preparation or whatever examination that you're preparing towards okay so um, the the good thing about semester examinations is that the semester examinations are actually independent of the classes that are going on so that is why i'm saying that you do not need to focus much attention towards the classes that are going on so how do we get good marks in semester examination tip number one go to the topper tip number two get the topper's note get charts or photographs or xerox whatever you can or these days everything is soft copy so i think you'll be more comfortable in that get that and go through it two days before the semester examination that would be more than sufficient me i used to do it 12 hours before the examination but that is pro level if you're just starting if you're in fifth semester start with starting your studying one hour sorry one day before the examination and then maybe you'll be getting to a level by seventh semester where you will be studying only 12 hours before the examination 
The last tip for the semester examination, use Memory Palace technique. I've talked about this before. Maybe I'll make another video, but Memory Palace basically uses the things that you just cannot forget. For example, your pathway from your place to your college or your pathway from where you're sitting right now to the bathroom. You cannot forget that because that's the place that you grew up in. You grew up in that house. You cannot really forget about the locations of that house, but you can forget about the things that are going to be asked in semester examination. So there's a way to connect those through so that you at least do not forget it at least till the semester examination. Okay, so I'm going to talk more about that. I've already made a video on that. So link will be down in the description box. Use Memory Palace technique. It is perfect for your semester examination. Matter of fact, I think Memory Palace technique was devised for Indian semester examination. So use it. I use it a lot to get a CGPA of nine, but uh, you can get use it to get whatever CGPA that you want. First question, should I set for campus placement? Hell yeah. Why wouldn't you sit for campus placements? It is a recession that is going to hit very soon. So definitely we do not say no to job when there are no jobs, okay? So if there are campus placements, you're definitely going to sit. Not only now in 2016 where the economy was doing pretty good, I still sat for five different campus placements. That's a different deal that I got re rejected from most of them, mainly because I had a CGPA very high and all the non-technical companies were coming to my college. So I sat over there and got no results, okay? So, but if you, are getting campus placements, definitely sit for that. Nowadays, gate examination preparation are changing because most of the people are trying to crack in their final examination only. Gone are those days where you are going to take a drop because these days coaching institutes are closing also, at least the offline coachings. So these days, the trend that is going on is prepare along with something. So that might be along with your college, that might be along with your MTech, or that might be along with the job. So please sit for campus placement. It is highly recommended at this stage. But yes, you do need to ask a question that what is the package that is getting offered? So if it is less than 3.2 lakhs or less than 20,000 per month, then you might ask another question. Do I really need the money? For that, you'll have to talk to your parents that do we really need the money? And if they say, yeah, we do, then you sit for the placement and you can prepare along with that also. But if you have a lot of money, then you can take a drop. But in any case, I would suggest you guys to sit for the placement, even if you do not prepare particularly for them, because at least it will give you some experience with the interviews. I've seen a lot of people who are directly for the first interview, the first interview that they said are BAS interview or ISRO interview, and they panic real bad. So it will give you some experience. Also, you don't really need to prepare that much for your interviews in your campus placement if you have been preparing very well for your gate examination because gate examination do give you a technical kind of aspect towards your preparation that is going to be helpful but let us say you are a mechanical engineer and you have to sit for IT companies then yes you'll have to invest a little bit of time to at least study C++. I remember my days it was Wipro interview I had studied C++ and did a coding also in my <laughs> interview okay. So I passed the technical round but got rejected in HR round because they kept on asking, why do you want to join this company? You have a CGP of 9.57. But anyways, that's my story. But I have seen people with very high CGPA also getting into companies like AppJamie because the year that I got rejected, Shushant had a CGP of 9.5 as well and he got selected in Cap Gemini, but he did not join, okay? So weird story, Shushant, Shushant is going to come to the part, podcast very soon, the Momentum podcast. All right, guys, so am I clear with placements and all that what you, what you are supposed to do? Are you supposed to sit for the placement? Yes. Do you need to prepare extra? If you're a mechanical engineer, you do need to study a little bit of C++ if you're going to sit for IT companies. And one very important question, there are a lot of campus training, campus placement trainings going on in a lot of colleges that I'm going to teach you about GDPI, I'm going to teach you about aptitude and all that. Listen, you're preparing for gate, gate examination, your aptitude is going to be fine. Also, if you want to learn about public, sorry, uh, personality development and GD and PI, follow my second YouTube channel, Ashish Ranjan, where I talk about speaking skills and personality development and all those things that you are going to learn in half the time, maybe less than that, and you'll be doing better than you would be doing after spending thousands of rupees in these campus placement training schemes, okay? So that is not required. All right, that's about it. I did the video pretty fast, covered all the important aspects, but still, if you have some questions, put your questions down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer that.